So in this example, we have three particles, A, B, and C, lie on a horizontal line in that order. So we have A, B, and C. Their masses are 4 kilos, 8 kilos, and 20 kilos, respectively. Initially, A is travelling towards B with a speed of 10 metres per second. And both B and C are travelling away from A at 5 metres per second. So they must both be travelling to the right at 5 metres per second. After A collides with B, it continues in the same direction at 4 metres per second. So, what I need to do is I need to focus in on particle A and particle B first. Okay, so I'm going to ignore particle C first of all. This is going to be before, and then I'm going to have afterwards. Particle A, particle B, 4 kilos and 8 kilos. Now, after A collides with B, it continues in the same direction at 4 metres per second. And I need to find B's speed, so I'm going to label that as U. So using the conservation of linear momentum, we must have that 4 times 10 plus 8 times 5 must be equal to 4 times 4 plus 8 times U. So 4 times 10 plus 8 times 5, take away 4 times 4, and then divide that by 8. We get that u has to be 8 metres per second. Or u is 8. OK? Right. So now we can focus our attention on particle uh, b and c. Now, particle B has a mass of 8 kilos, and particle C has a mass of 20 kilos. So we now know that B is travelling towards C at 8 metres per second. C is still travelling to the right at 5 metres per second. After B collides with C, it reverses direction and travels at 2 metres per second. So B is going to travel to the left at 2 metres per second, whereas C is going to continue, and I'm going to label that as V metres per second. It's V that I want to find. So the total momentum before will be 8 times 8 plus 20 times 5, and that's going to be equal to 8 times minus 2 plus 20 times V. So we have 8 times 8 plus 20 times 5. Then I need to add on 8 times 2 and then divide through by 20. And we get that the velocity will be 9 metres per second. So the speed of C after its collision with B will be 9 metres per second.